Uh, Stu, first off, you know, back-to-back shutout wins for yourself, back-to-back shutout wins for this team. 11-day layoff, but you guys didn't seem to miss a beat. Uh, you know, you guys came out in the first period and played well. What did you think of the effort tonight of the guys in front of you? Yeah, the guys played a fantastic game again. Uh, you know, obviously going into practice for about a week and a half, um, you know, because of that whole COVID thing in San Jose, it was it was tough. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of time to practice, so we just – you know, the guys work so hard in practice, and uh, because of that, I think it paid off for uh, for tonight. You guys played a, a great game. The D-man were blocking basically every shot. We were working today, so, um, you know, couldn't be more proud than uh, for the group of guys in front of me. As a goaltender, your your mindset uh, kind of going into a game where, you know, you know this Condors team, you know the group of guys in front of you don't really allow much, you know, and it's not really a heavy workload for you uh, throughout the course of a game, but, uh, how do you kind of keep that focus and, and keep that sharpness throughout a, a game in which maybe you're not seeing the puck a, a whole lot? Yeah, I mean, you just got to keep your head in it. I mean, it's tough, uh, especially if you don't see it for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, um, especially with the timeouts, uh, even longer time, uh, not, not, not seeing a puck or not stopping a puck or anything like that. But um, usually the puck gets in our end. And when it does, uh, even if we have possession, you got to, you know, as a goaltender, you got to be skating and make, making sure you're always ready at all times. And, um, you know, just keep that mental focus, which, uh, you know, myself, and, uh, as for every other goalie, is working on that all the time. Mike Griffith with Inside AHL Hockey. Hey, uh, Stuart, you spent it. Hey, how you doing? Hey. You spent a lot of time up uh, with Edmonton this year. Not a lot of game time, got your one game, but how much did it help you up there on the taxi squad, getting all the coaching and being around the NHL? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, me and Schwartzy worked, you know, a ton, a ton of time uh, together uh, up in Edmonton, even before before the camp or before the season started with the Oilers there. So, um, you know, I got a lot of work in, uh, you know, put in my time. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, being able to be around those guys and being able to see how they prepare, how they work every single day, um, you know, really helped me and challenged me to, you know, be at that pace at all times. And I think for me, it's just you know, keeping that same pace and keep that same mentality uh, over here in Bakersfield um, so that one day I can, uh, you know, make my way up and stay. Any other questions for Stu? I have one. I just was going to say, how how, uh, how good does it feel to be a condor right now uh, with the way you guys are playing? Oh, it feels fantastic. The guy, like, like how I said in the first question, I – you know, our team's working, working so hard, doing everything they can to block shots, everything they can in the D zone, uh, as well as, uh, you know, moving the puck up. Um, you know, it took us a while to, you know, start getting some goals, um, you know, at the beginning of the season. And, you know, it's paying off now. And I think just our patience as a unit and our hard work as a unit is uh, starting to pay off. So, I mean, I feel great being a Condors, always have. And, uh, you, know, I, uh, you know, I love the guys in front of me. And they work, they work so hard. And it's uh, starting to prove itself. 